So today it's perfecting the trot, the sitting trot. So uh, this is Chloe. She's about 18 hands and she's my international horse. I've used her because she's so enormous. As you can see, I'm only five foot three. She's got a massive rib cage. So she's the one I probably find the most difficult to get a really good sitting trot on. So I thought you could see my faults, which will help you um, and see how I deal with it. So I've warmed up, I've done exactly what I've done on my other blog, so I've walked, hands forward, back, forward, back, I've done rising, trot, elbows, bending and straightening, and I've cantered. I always like to canter before I do sitting trot, you need to have the horse well warmed up. It's more demanding for you to be sitting on the horse's back, it can close the horse's back down and stabilise the horse's back. So if your horse is not warmed up before you do the sitting trot, it makes it more difficult for both of you. So I've done all that, and now I'm going to go forward to some sitting trot and explain the movement of the body and the contact. Okay, so just a basic sort of working trot. So my hips are going swing, 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 swing. Elbows, bend, 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 bend. For me to keep my leg down. She's so big and her rib cage is so sprung. That's why I wanted you to see her. So my elbows bend, 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 bend. I've got my chihuahuas. Bend, bend. So the bend happens when your seat feels heavier. So bounce, bounce, down, down, bend, 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 bend. So I've just sat a bit heavier and she's actually come up a bit lighter. Without stirrups now, just to help me try and keep my leg down. And you can see I find it hard. So I'm trying to sit tall through my rib cage so I keep a big gap between my lower rib and my hip. And elbows bend, 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 bend. If I don't, bend, this is what happens. I've gone all stiff. <laughs> Horrible. crazy into them because the horses if they're not used to you moving your legs like that then you know it could be a problem so when you do your work without stirrups you need to have a loose leg not a leg that does this clamp 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 that's no good you've got to be able to release this she hates it you've got to be able to release your leg and just sit on your seat so just keep your leg low and long if you find that hard just hold the saddle with one hand so you can let go a little bit more and then if you're struggling with the elbows, bending and straightening the elbows, just rest the hands on the saddle. See, look, bend, 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 bend. Just teaches you the movement. 
So for the downward transition, just relax and walk. Stand in the stirrups, keep the weight in your legs, push down, sit, still keep the weight in your legs. So she thought I wanted her to walk, which is, again, how I was going to show you a transition. Stand in the stirrups, weight in the legs, gently sit. I'm going to try to sit a bit softer with my seat. Now I relax. So I basically stopped swinging my hips. 